Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to the Spongebob Squarepants movie video game. We just got the remote from Patrick, and we're gonna go back to Spongebob's house to hopefully make it work with my TV, and then turn my TV off. Because that was the point of this whole endeavor to go outside. Turn my TV off. So, remote, oh, remote with TV. Now I can hear myself think! Yay, exit TV. No dial tone. The phone lines must be down for what some reason. What the hell kind of face was that, SpongeBob? You don't need to. That was like freaking Oscar the Grouch. That was ugly. That was not nice or helpful at all. All right, so we're gonna use this on this guy because it'll scare him away. And now he's running away, and I can deal with the phone myself. Let me just connect this wire to this thingy. Wasn't so hard. Yep. Now I go back to my house and make a telephone call. Make a telephone call. Walk over to the telephone and call up Squidward. Oh, wait. Crap, I forgot about his radio. Okay, I get it. I did something wrong. You don't have to keep ringing. Forgot about the radio. I get it. Squidward must not be able to hear the phone for some reason. So let's go back this way then. It's my house. What else could I use though? What else could I? Oh, look at the anemone. Yep. Cute little anemone. What else could I use to turn off this radio though? And I don't ever remember there being a fence between their houses. Alright, one, two, three. Something here. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay. There's gotta be some way for me to turn it off. I know I can ask him. About the toothpaste, because I'll probably see no. How can you compose a porpoise with the radio on? Oh, but can the radio give me uh, ideas? I mean, inspiration. I don't steal my melody, if that's what you're saying. Maybe I'll turn the radio off for you. Would you like that? I'd do anything to help. Honestly, SpongeBob, I couldn't care less what you do. There we go. He gave me permission to turn the radio off. Away from here as possible. Alright, well, so I'll say goodbye and I'll turn the radio off and then I'll go home and call. My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. Squidward is basically living ah, in eternal hell. Now Squidward won't be so deaf to the rest of the world. Squidward's basically living in purgatory because he's next door. He lives in the middle of two people that he hates most in the entire world. That has got to be the definition of hell. If I lived in between the two people I hated most in the world, I sure would well, I hate them. That's mainly what I was getting at. Let's give him a call. Oh my god, his feet. Hello? Who is it? Dad. Who's there? Is this you, SpongeBob? <sighs> SpongeBob, you are a clever, clever bastard. All right, let's go and let's steal some toothpaste. We got a sneaky sneak though past him, and then we'll steal some toothpaste, brush our teeth, and then make our way to the grand opening of the Krusty Krab too. Hello. Who is it? Sneak, 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 sneak. Well, I don't even think Squidward has teeth. He won't miss it. Okay. That one, that. Aha! That's it! Brush my teeth. In someone else's bathroom. Hooray! My teeth are clean! Now, now I can go, go to the Krusty Krab to accept the mantle, mantle of manager. manager. I'm, I'm ready. Responsibility. And now we're on our way. Chapter 2, Evil Under the Sea. Mwahahaha, <laughs> there's evil under the sea. Mwahaha. <laughs> the 
Looks like a beautiful day outside. Perfect weather for implementing an evil scheme. Let's see what we can come up with, shall we? Wait, so do I get to- Oh, I get to play as Plankton now! Oh, I completely forgot about this. This is so cool. It's a symbol of the oppression of the working class. Also, also it's red. red. That seems perfectly normal. Look at reverse polarity sub ether frequency emitter. Um, talk to Karen. Down Ooh. here. What do you want? Find a way to steal Mr. Krabs' secret Krabby Patty recipe. I'm trying everything I can think of. In other words, not much. You aren't helping. Have you checked all the evil plans in your filing cabinet? Yes, every last one from A to Y. There is nothing left. Um, what about Z? 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 The letter after Y? Groups? Oh, boy. <laughs> That is all for now, wife. Return to your spousal duties at once. By spousal duties, do you mean overlooking your many faults and watching you blunder your way through another doomed attempt to take over the world? I have one word for you. Magnet. You couldn't lift it. <laughs> well, I mean, what else does a wife do? I can't get to it. That plastic SpongeBob robot might squash me. I'll need to get him to move first. Robot Move. Move! I order, order you. you! He isn't answering my commands. He must be broken. Luckily, as his creator, I know his innermost workings. Fixing him should be a snap. So let's use the wrench on him then. And fix him. It's fairly easy. Oh my god. That's amazing. Tool. As long as you know exactly where to throw it. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge balls. Do my bidding! Hmm. He still isn't listening to me. I can't vocally override his programming. I have to find another way to get him to move. Let's take the mop. See if the mop will do it. You think that mop looks too big for me to carry? It shows what you know. Let's use the mop on him. That isn't going to work. Apparently that won't work. Uh, let's open the filing cabinet and let's get Plan Z! Steel, Steel crown, crown, frame crabs. I like it, I like it. It's got panache. What they so didn't let's do this step by step. Step one, get to Neptune's castle and steal his crown. Styles play. They left out one of the best lines in the entire movie. It's evil, it's diabolical. It's lemon scented! To feed, feed the, the evil. evil, you understand? Um, alright, so... I never have any okay, so I don't, but don't care about... Why did you say that I again? I the rejection constructively to feed the evil, you understand? Alright, so, look at menu... That's the menu! All I right. program the robotic SpongeBob to keep it orderly and rearrange it when the specials change. Karen may have helped me slightly. I can't go out of the chum bucket, I don't think. What about if that give the mop right. to Karen? Where's Karen when I, need her? I just tried to use the mop on Karen. You have got to be kidding. Um, maybe I can leave. Maybe I can go around the back of the chum bucket. Maybe there's something there for me to use. Yeah, I think I can leave the chum bucket. Yeah. Go to Neptune's castle. Maybe I can't possibly get to Neptune's castle without my jetpack. Think, man, think. All right. Either these also, either these are voice actors or like not. Well, of course they're voice actors, but either they these are soundalikes or they got the real cast. And if these are soundalikes, then they did a great job. I can't get to it. That plastic SpongeBob robot might squash me. I'll need to get him to move first. Um, already opened the filing cabinet. All I have is a mop. I can't do that. Well, what, what the? What? That isn't right. Where's Karen when I need Maybe her? if I talk to Karen. Oh, this is the kitchen. I just realized that. I need him 
information. You have need of intense therapy. Yes, yes, I do. What is it this time? Um, I'm spiritually bankrupt. Maybe that, maybe that'll give me something. You're complaining to me about having no soul? I'm a computer. Have a little tap. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, my dear. That is all for oh, now, wife. Oh, I'm Return to your spousal duties at once. By spousal duties, do you mean overlooking your many faults and watching you blunder your way through another doomed attempt to take over the world? I have one word for you, Magnet. You couldn't lift it. Is that all I can do? That can't be all I can do. There's gotta be some. There's gotta be something else. Mop with tables. Use mop. Oh, rearrange. Oh. Wow, I'm an idiot. Let's test the robotic SpongeBob and see if he performs his duty. Now we go, and here comes the robot SpongeBob, and he's gonna do his job, which gets him out of the way to get me the jetpack. <laughs> see, I'm smart. I'm smart. I told you. And then once I get the jetpack and make my way to Neptune's castle, that'll be it for this episode. So we're gonna go grab the jetpack, and we're gonna take the jetpack. Oh, my, my glorious, glorious jetpack. jetpack! Okay. Um. Oh, he, he just got a really depressed look on his face, and I don't know why. Put check back on planking. All right. It allows me to fly far above the heads of those who will one day be my vassals. And then let's go to Neptune's castle. Whoa! This jetpack doesn't handle too well. I must not have tightened the phalange sufficiently. Let's hope I don't get into an accident. Was oh, this a mini game? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Uh, Oh, I have to click. Oh, okay. Um, well, this doesn't look like it's going to take me too long. Actually, no, you know, we're going to save this for the next episode. So, all right, I'm going to pick this up in the next episode. We're going to get to Neptune's Castle, and we're going to do some evil planning. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. Share the video if you want to share the video. My name is Jacob. You were searching for players, and you have connected with one. But now, unfortunately, I must disconnect. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Adios. Uh -huh.